Today I wanted to talk about the left wing. For too long now in Britain, people have accepted the left wing as some form of moral authority, some form of valid political force that opposes us on the side of the right. People look past the actual agenda of the left wing and they legitimise them, they give them a platform which is entirely wrong. The common perception of the left wing agitator is that of a socialist, a communist, somebody who generally disagrees with authority. Well this is wrong. The left wing are not political, they are parasitical, they are vermin and they are the common enemy of the British people. These people have been brainwashed into submission by the cultural Marxist establishment. In effect they are robots, they are drones and they are pumping out this politically correct perverse agenda onto us the common people. Why waste time giving them a platform? Why waste time legitimising them as a political force when they will always disagree with you? It's meaningless, it's pointless. I use Twitter, as do many other people, and I see people explaining themselves to the left wing, giving them some form of platform and, expecting, and, and being expected to give them an explanation for their every action and political view. Why are people doing this? This is, this is entirely wrong. These people don't deserve any form of platform. They don't deserve any form of authority. They are nothing. They are parasites, vermin. They are the very bottom of the pit. They are a cesspit of evil. One of the tools used by the left wing is that of political correctness. An idea developed out of cultural Marxism, an idea that is alien to Britain, something that has no place in British society whatsoever. More often than not, we as nationalists will be accused of racism. Racism is the main tool that the left wing use against us to try and silence us. However, the mistake people make is by defending themselves against accusations of racism. The left winger will accuse you of being a racist and you will then explain yourself thus taking the emphasis away from your political standing, thus silencing you. Let's be done with this idea that to be a racist is to be guilty, or to be a racist is a crime. Yes, racial hatred is a crime under the law, but whose law? Not the law of the British people, not the law of nature. So next time the left winger looks, you, looks at you and calls you a racist, accuses you of being a racist, look him back in the eye and tell him, say to him, so what? And that will defeat him. He will have no other weapons to use against you and you are free to continue putting out the good word of nationalism in Britain. The left wing are just a pariah. They have no place in our society and we cannot cure them through conventional political debate. Do you not be, do you not be under the impression that by debating with them or by putting out the views of our ideology, we will somehow bring these people over to agree with us. They will never agree with us. They are too far gone. They are too far brainwashed by the cultural Marxist establishment. The only way to cure the left wing is by re-education. The National British Resistance has strong policy in regards to this. We say send the left wing to re-education camps. Send the left wing for reprogramming and let's make them a, a, a contribute. Let's make them an active contributor of society again, because at the minute these people are just drones. There is no hope for them. They are a lost cause, and we cannot get them over to our side through conventional methods. And the only way by doing this is by destroying democracy in this country. That's quite a provocative thing to say. Let's destroy democracy. But the truth is. Democracy in this country, democracy in Britain, is not democracy at all. It is a falsehood. It is a lie. It is a lie invented by the cultural Marxist, Judeo-backed capitalist vermin that sits on top of us in their houses of parliament. Democracy doesn't represent the British man. Democracy does not represent British values. We need democracy in Britain that stands up for the British man. Democracy that doesn't require debate in Parliament between several political parties, which are all the same fundamentally. Democracy that sees things through. If I have a problem with something in society, I would expect to go to somebody else, 
who could take this up to a higher level and would take this to Parliament? Why does this need to be debated at a local council level? Why does this need to be debated in Parliament? I have a right as a contributor to this society to voice my opinion and if the majority of people feel the same way as me then I will expect that change to be made. But in the current dem democratic model in this country it doesn't work. And the left wing are simple agitators designed to keep this sham up and running. Don't engage with the left wing. Ignore them. Do not give them a platform. These are vile, sick parasites, not worthy of our attention, not worthy of any political debate, and not worthy of any form of legitimising. They are no authority over us. And when people see me and they ask me, Joshua, how do you feel about the left wing? Do you dislike them? I say no, I don't dislike the left wing, I hate the left wing. The left wing are evil and everybody needs to realise this. The left wing are the common enemy of the British people. They are the sickening, perverse parasite that is causing more divisions in our communities than anything else today. The other thing the left wing frequently go on about is multiculturalism, the big M word. We're expected to live side by side in, the, in our streets with people of other races. We're expected to adopt their cultures and observe their religious practices. Well, it doesn't work. Multiculturalism is a failed experiment in Britain and it has no place in a modern British society. In fact, diversity is death. We saw this recently with the death of James Foley in Syria, who was killed by ISIL, killed by a British Muslim somebody who lived in Britain and practiced this multicultural society and was told by the left wing that he was right in his views and he had every right to practice Islamic extremism. So actually the left wing have blood on their hands, the left wing have killed innocent people through their dangerous, diverse and sick agenda and we have to realise this. If we keep going down this route of expecting to live in a multicultural society. More people will be killed, more blood will be spilt on British streets. Does it not concern you that you can walk down the street now and at any given moment you can be beheaded by an Islamic extremist? That is the fault of the left wing. And we as white nationalists, we as people to the right thinking in this country, warned the left wing for years, we told them that this would happen and they didn't listen to us. And it has been allowed to happen. Ten years of New Labour did this. So the left wing are entirely to blame for the situation in the country today. But it, harping back to the fact that these people are just drones, this is the agenda of the cultural Marxist establishment. To drive us to the point of crisis, to exterminate the white race and to destroy the British identity. This is what they are trying to achieve collectively. And this is what they will achieve by the end of the century because nobody is standing up. Nobody is realising what is going on. And we have to because literally the white race is facing extermination and extinction and we will not exist as white British people in this country by the end of the century. There will just be some mixed race of non-Anglo-Saxons, non non-British people. There will be people of the European continent, people of the African continent, people of the Asian continent, but there, there will not be British people in this country by the end of the century. So the time to act is now before it's too late. We need to fight multiculturalism, we need to fight diversity, and we need to fight the vile left-wing agitator and exterminate them.